what if I what if I told you that when you got older, you would go to a building and you would not play all day long? I would come home in my car. You would come home in your car? Um, okay, we'll be right over. What a vlog here at the playground. Had some impromptu change of plans, had a pretty, well, what I thought was a fun video dialed up for you tonight, but change of plans. So get to hang out with the kids here at the park, a new park. <gasps> Getting to play, have a little fun. And maybe later I'll talk about elements of play and work because it's important that not only we have new experiences and get new feelings like a new playground, but that we also get the feeling of playing at work. Yeah! What up vlog? We're back at the house. Now I got some notes. I took some notes for you, but we're gonna make it look like I'm not reading them. But I came up with some points on play at work. I think it's something that we think about. It's maybe something that we desire. Play at work. What does it even mean? It's like play to your strengths. Like I'm working. You don't understand how overworked I am, how stressed the environment is, how every day we are just trying to keep up. Speaking of keeping up with technology, you having some problems? Hey, there's Rocky. Where? Right there. What about the tracker? That was tracker? Yeah. Okay, point number one, why I think play at work matters and is useful. When something is fun or viewed as play, we put energy behind it. For example, fantasy football. <laughs> Fantasy football is fun, or people get excited about it, so they put time and resources and energy into it. Now, play is different than a, for an accountant than play is for somebody who works in advertising, where the pace is totally different. So, when something is fun and viewed as play, we put energy to it. Fantasy football shows sports. We put energy to these things. We convert our resources to them, which allows us to bring a more present, excited, fuller version of who we are to the thing that we're doing. Point number two, 
Play at work brings the humanity back into the human. It's how we like to be. We love humor, we love having fun. This idea that work is serious and that's the only thing work can be does not make sense. Why would we be 100% serious when we're at work and then when we're not at work, be a human being who wants to have fun and relax? So we all love humor and this idea of having to be serious all of the time is an old way of operation. Yes, it's important to focus. We have to focus. I know there are certain tasks that when I'm not focused a certain way, I don't get them done with either the efficiency or the excellence that I should. But when we deploy a little bit of play, so what would that look like? Deploying a little bit of play can look like a couple of things. One, maybe you send out an email to the team and you're like, hey, when this project finishes or if we meet this deadline, Matt and I are gonna do a Mr. Robot dance off. We're gonna do a dance off. Something silly like that. But all of a sudden you're bringing this little human element, this little piece of play into the work. It's silly. Some could say it's stupid. We don't have time for that. But if we don't have time for that, it's the idea of meditation. Somebody says if you don't have time to meditate for 10 minutes a day, then you need to make time to meditate for an hour a day. And I think the same is true. We have to find ways to bring this humanity into our work. And then point number three for tonight is that play helps us expand our capacity or push the limits of our capacity. Now go with me for a moment. You're a kid and you are about to begin recess. There's this like tingly about you. I can remember, I can actually hear the gravel as we're all walking out to the playground. And then as we were released, this surge of like, of like just, of energy, this, it's almost like you just pushed all the band into the side and I feel like you're just running out onto the playground, just your limbs are going in all directions and there's just glee and joy over your face. And when you can bring that type of thinking to your work, when, when you're a kid and you are with no abandon running out onto the playground, you don't have this rigid structure of a plan of how something has to be. When it comes to creativity and innovation, yes, creativity and innovation is not just these spurs of, of, of inspiration that just come from nowhere. There's structure and strategy around how we unlock that but we need to have these moments of play. We need to have these moments of pure abandon where we can stretch the capacity, where we can maybe test our own limitations. And when we can begin to do that, not only does it change how we feel inside, but others, when we see somebody that we work with is starting to have a little bit more fun and try to bring this play element into their work, it changes how they feel, it changes how we feel. And all of a sudden the energy and the culture starts to feel a little bit different. But a couple things to think about when it comes to play. Just because it's play for you doesn't mean it's play for me. And that means you've gotta be cautious of other people. You gotta think about other people as well. And this idea of play, even probably in my three points, it can oscillate between a strategy on how to bring play in versus just this idea of being a little bit more lighthearted or joyful or funny at work. And I think it's probably both sides of it. But do keep in mind, it's like a joke, especially for me, a joke at work. A joke, hey, bless you. A joke at work is only funny when both people genuinely find it funny. When only one person typically the giver of the joke finds it funny, it's probably not actually funny to the other person. So the same thing is true with the element of work. And lastly, you gotta check out this video of Tony. Tony, they call him the dancing doc. He brings joy and happiness and passion to his job because he does things just a little bit different because he's found a way to unlock a way for him to play at work, but 
in his role, he still has to be serious. He has to be precise and totally dialed in. And that's what I want for all of us, to find ways to be precise and totally dialed in. But then we can have these moments outside of that where we bring this play and this joy and this happiness. And that balance means we show up more consistent, more often, and fight that idea of burning out. Have a great rest of your week. And um, you know what? Next time you're driving by a playground, just hop on the slide and take it for a ride. Um, so Brooklyn, um, do you like playing? Would you say that you play a lot during the day or just a little? Um, a lot during the day. You play a lot during the day? Yeah. And is it so much fun playing? Yeah. What happens when it's time for a nap? Do you get a little upset that you can't play anymore? Yeah. Oof. Um, what if I, what if I told you that when you got older, you would go to a building and you would not play all day long? Would that sound amazing or pretty horrible? You would go there all day and not play one time. Would that be good or bad? Bad. It would well, be? I would come home in my car. You would come home in your car? Yeah. And then what would you do? Um, work and then I'll get my camera and then just, I'll get my home and then go up to bed. So you would come home and then get your camera, do some work, get a muffin and go to bed? I mean, getting a muffin and going to bed does actually sound fantastic. But do you think that um, if you were to say when you get older, you would want to play still or stop playing? Which one do you think you would want to do when you get older? Um, play. You and I would play with my mommy and so mama. I would play with mama and um, I would get a bag and go to work. So you would still want to play even though you had to work? Yeah. Wow. High five. You get your you get double allowance this week, okay? Can you say see can you say see you later vlog? Hey, what vlog? Oh, you get, I don't think they could understand you. We could definitely transcript you in though. Should we just do that? Yeah. Okay. Say see ya. Do you want to do any cool hand signs or anything? Uh, uh. No? Do you have any like words of wisdom that you want to offer them before you go? No. Who's the best Paw Patrol? Rubble. Rubble? All right. Perfect. But that ain't me anymore But I don't mind if I sell my soul 